One thing about the great, this BYU-Utah rivalry, one of the great things is the history. There's been so many great games. Wild finishes, hey! <laughs> Just like that, and for players who stand out in these games, they take their place in history. Yeah, they really do. You know, uh, there's been so many great individual performances in the rivalry history here. It's hard for us to include all of them, but we're going to do our best by starting off with the top five BYU individual performances against the U, and we will begin with 1981, Jim McMahon. He never forgot losing to the Utes in 78. He made them pay in 80 and 81. In the 81 game, his last in Provo, he went nuts. 35 for 54, 565 yards, four touchdowns, no picks. He wasn't the only Cougar to stuff the stat sheet that day either. Tight end Gordon Hudson, 13 catches, 259 yards, and two touchdowns in a 56-28 win to clinch the whack. Steve Young was 2-0 versus the Utes as a starter, capped off by a brilliant performance in Provo in 1983. Almost perfect, 22 of 25, 268 yards, six touchdowns, no picks. A couple of Houdini-type plays he was known for, did his damage in three quarters to win another WAC championship, a 55-7 win over the Utes. 55 points in three quarters, are you kidding me? In 1980, it was another BYU. Brilliant performance before Clay Brown caught the game winning pass in the 80 Holiday Bowl. He delivered an all time performance against the Utes. Five catches, 184 yards, two touchdowns, including this impressive 76 yarder, a 56 6 win for the Cougs. Luke Staley won the 2001 Dope Walker Award, and his big night against the Utes may have put him over the top with award voters. He had 17 carries, 169 yards and a touchdown, had a run of 54 yards, also caught three passes for 28 yards and a touchdown. His 30-yard touchdown run down the sideline gave the Cougars a come-from-behind win. In the final minute, he averaged nine yards per carry. And then there was Ty Detmer in 1989 after the Utes ended a nine game losing streak to the Cougars with a 57 28 win in 88. Ty and friends were out for revenge. Detmer led BYU to touchdowns on their first eight, first eight offensive possessions. It was 63 10 after three quarters. Detmer 18 for 22, 358 yards, three scores. He also had a rushing touchdown in a 70 to 31 win. Less than 30 minutes until kickoff. A beautiful scene of Lavelle Edwards Stadium as we get ready for the latest chapter in the BYU-Utah rivalry. Early we counted down the top five uh, performances of all time by BYU players in the rivalry. Now it's time for the Utes. Yeah, let's get started with that uh, blowout there in 1988. That is a proud moment for Utah fans. We cheated, we're going with a two for one. And for good reason, Scott Mitchell and Eddie Johnson were incredible in a 57-28 stunner over the Cougars that ended a nine game losing streak, sound familiar? Mitchell was 21 of 30 for 384 yards and three touchdowns. Johnson rushed for 117 yards and four touchdowns. He also had two catches for 91 yards, including a 62-yard touchdown. That was a big one. The 2004 team was special, and Steve Savoy was special against BYU. He had two touchdown runs, one a 92-yarder. He also caught five passes for 47 yards and a score. He helped the Utes to a 52-21 win, clinching a Mountain West title and a bid to the Fiesta Bowl. They were the first BCS busters. They did it again in 2008. We could have put the entire defense on this list for what they did to Max Hall, but we'll go with Brian Johnson. The senior quarterback was 30 of 36 for 303 yards, four touchdowns, no interceptions. He completed passes to eight different receivers in the 48-24 win that clinched a Mountain West title and sent the Utes to the Sugar Bowl. John White the fourth, he ran all over BYU in 2011. He averaged eight yards per carry, 174 yards and three touchdowns. His longest, a 62-yard touchdown run. The 54-10 beatdown in Provo, the largest margin of victory for the Utes in rivalry history since a 49-0 win in 1922. And finally, what a game Brett Ratliff had in 2005. Getting the start for an injured Brian Johnson. Not much was expected of Ratliff, but he was sensational through the air and on the ground. 17 of 32 for 240 yards, four touchdowns, no interceptions. He also ran 19 times for 112 yards and a touchdown. His touchdown pass to Travis Matondras in overtime proved to be the game winner and the first overtime game in the rivalry, a 41-34 Utah win. We'll be right back after this.